Hey guys, I want to talk to you about a couple of things here. Um, you all know that I'm a huge, huge fan of FW Arms decapping dies. Um, Will himself is an excellent uh, human being. Um, I've seen some comments and stuff about people uh, complaining that they've been breaking these pins. And these pins are hardened, but they're not indestructible. And if you don't set your die up, correctly you're just asking for trouble you're asking to break your, your die so i'm gonna tear one apart we're gonna talk about it a little bit and i'm gonna show you how to actually set this up so right here i've got two of them um, i'm gonna tear one of them apart show you the inside the pieces it's got these nice all brass machine pieces here and Tear it down as far as I can take it. You can see every little piece. Set that one aside. So, here is your actual, your rod, um, and here's your pin. These are replaceable. So, you see right there is two flats to put a little tiny wrench on. Now, I've seen people breaking the tips, and I've seen them also shattering this rod. The rod's hardened also. You can kind of see the coloration on there from the heat process, the heat treat. Um, right here is how you actually move it up and down in your die body with the Allen wrench. And here's the magic right here. Here's your guide bushing. For me, this, this is what I love about the FW Arms decapping die. So here's your body. It's just straight through. Nothing too crazy about this. Now it's a known fact that Will over FW Arms has the nicest nuts in the industry. If you need to he sells his nuts you can go pick these up so to put this back together drop that guide bushing in got your spring I'm gonna put this back together here actually it'd be quicker if I go this way This is kind of like a lock nut to lock your depth down. Okay, so when you guys get yours and you go set it up on your machine, the first thing you want to double check is right here. You can see this is not set up correctly yet. You see that pin is protruding into the guide bushing. And you don't want that. You want the pin completely recessed. So let me grab an Allen wrench and we'll adjust that. So it is a 3 30 seconds Allen wrench. We're going to adjust that. I think zoom in on that. We're just going to turn that until it's recessed. Right there is perfect. And we're going to lock that down. So right there it's recessed completely. So that way when your case pushes on this guide bushing, hey, there you get to see the tip. Just the tip there. Okay, so let's take one of these. It's just the same, same exact thing. It looks slightly different with the different color nut, the gold nut, but it's the exact same uh, setup here. You can tell, let's see that this uh, lock bushing 
this lock ring is a little bit bigger he, he does he's constantly updating and changing and making these better so we're gonna take this one that we just played with and we're gonna put it in the 1050 and deep prime a couple of cases for you so be right back okay here is the FW arms high speed processing decapping die and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the 1050 to the bottom of the stroke I'm gonna run this down just watch the guide bushing here I'm gonna run that down to about right there just to get started Right here I've got some uh, 223 brass. See it's got the primer in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jog the dent machine down. I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but right there, it actually decapped it. So I'm going to turn this all the way down until I fill it bottom out. It's all the way bottomed out. And I'm going to bring it up one full turn. Right there. Lock it down. Now you have to make sure, like we talked about in the beginning of this video, that you have that uh, pin that you don't have this pin protruding. Now, here's a piece of brass that I have that's cut away. So when this pin setup goes in here, you can see, if we can get the camera to focus, right there you can see the pin. And then it's how far it actually does go in to decap. So don't think because it's up in there that you need to have that protruding anymore because it's it's sticking out a good ways and that's going to ensure that you decap that you push that primer out and it's going to fall out and uh, not pull back up so that was stabbing my thumb see right there and I kind of wish I had one of the dies that was cut away because you might want to actually what I'm gonna do is that's protruding way far enough for anything I would need now that I got mine set I'm gonna actually back the decapping pin itself not the die just the pin I'm gonna rotate it up one rotation itself and that way I'm gonna ensure that the pin is not bottoming out that way I can make sure that this pin is not hitting on the inner web of the brass you can see right there it's hitting so you can see how far that pins protruding I'm gonna have mine only protrude about that much that way I'm ensuring that I'm not hitting the bottom of the brass you know I'm actually just gonna grab a uh, set of calipers and just see how much that's actually protruding
You say, this is just for me. Just roughly 215 thousandths. You know, let's just, let's just call it uh, a quarter of an inch. Right there, that's a quarter of an inch. That's how much I'm going to say I feel comfortable having my pin stick out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put three three seconds Allen wrench on. Yes, I know my machine. I was running some 300 black out on there. Doesn't matter. Just decapping to show you guys. So I'm going to back it up. About one turn. See, it's decapped. And a lot of you guys don't have a cutaway piece of brass to use. So right there, I'm 284. I'm going to go a little bit more. I'm go right there. I'm probably just going to call that good because I know it's not bottoming out. Look at that, I need to change the batteries. Switch to the old analog here. Let's see that. Close enough. Now let's decap a couple. Let's see if you guys can listen. Right there. That one's that one's got a live primer. Hope I don't blow myself up. Whoa. Oh look, another live primer. Let's move you guys down so you can see better. I've been a huge fan of Will's, um, his decapping and his swage backer um, since I got them. I've completely quit using other companies' decapping dies, and I have one based on every one of my tool heads. Um, I love his decapping setup. So. There's another one. See, I, I've decapped probably now close to 80,000 pieces of brass um, with his decapping dies. Now that's not on the, the same pin. 
I have broken a pin, but that has been uh, no fault of the decapping die itself. Sometimes you'll be going fast enough and you'll get a piece of brass and if you get one like lands like that and it hits it just right, it captures it and then the pin obviously has nowhere to go so it deflects to one side or another and it will break. But just normal use, um, just popping primers, I've, I haven't needed to replace the pin because of that. I'm also running his very excellent um, FW Arms number three shell plate. I can't wait for Will for you to release your number five, the nine millimeter shell plate, because um, the really nice thing with his is he's got some cut reliefs underneath, clean out debris, um, and the way that he's got these little bevels on his shell plate right there, I don't know if you can see them, um, it feeds really nice. And in combination with that shell plate and his decapping setup, I don't have any issues. So we got just a couple more. So, there you go, guys. Don't listen to uh, internet trolls talking bad on this decapping setup. I'm almost certain it's been user error. I'm almost certain people are running this pin too far down, bottoming them, them out, the pin assembly, right here on the inside of the brass. And something's got to give at that point. And these are heat treated. They're harder than hen's teeth. They have to do something. So when they're bottoming out, something's got to give. And as long as you don't have your die set up incorrectly, you're going to be really, really happy with this setup. See you guys.